Today's video is all about quickly and easily determining whether a given function is at even or odd. The first one is f of x, and the second is f of minus x, and the third is minus f of x. If the first and the second representations are equal, then f of x is an even function. If the second and third representations are equal, then f of x is an odd function. If neither of these conditions hold true, then it's neither. Let's dive into an example to understand this concept better. Consider f of x equals x to the power 4 plus x squared. And we'll find representations for the number 1, 2, and 3 to compare them. For 1, f of x is x to the power 4 plus x squared. For 2, substituting minus x into f of x is f of negative x is negative x to the power 4 plus negative x squared, which is simplifies to x to the power 4 plus x squared. For 3, Negative f of x is negative parenthesis x to the power 4 plus x squared, expanding to negative x to the power 4 minus x squared. After expanding and examining 1, 2, and 3, it is evident that 1 and 2 are the same. Hence, this function is an even function. In the second example, let's consider f of x is 2 times x to the power 3 minus 5 over x. We'll find representations for 1, 2, and 3. For 1, f of x is 2 times x cubed minus 5 over x. For 2, f of negative x is 2 times negative x to the power of 3 minus 5 over minus x, which simplifies to negative 2x to the power of 3 plus 5 over x. For 3, negative f of x is minus 2x cubed minus 5 over x, which can be expressed as minus 2x cubed plus 5 over x. After writing down 1, 2, and 3, it is clear that 2 and 3 have the same expression. Therefore, this function is an odd function. In the third example, f of x is x squared minus 2x plus 3. Let's find 1, 2, and 3. For 1, f of x is x squared minus 2x plus 3. For 2, f of negative x is negative x squared minus 2 times minus x plus 3, which simplifies to x squared plus 2x plus 3. For 3, minus f of x is minus x squared minus 2x plus 3, which is simplifies to minus x squared plus 2x minus 3. After examining the simplified expressions for 1, 2, and 3, we can see that there are no identical expressions. Therefore, f of x is neither an even nor an odd function. This time, let's prove whether the sum of two even functions becomes an even function. First, we need to define the two even functions. Given that 1 and 2 are the same form, we can define the two functions based on the characteristics of the even functions as follows. f of x is f of negative x and g of x is g of negative x. Now, let's denote the sum of the two even functions as h of x, which will be h of x is f of x plus g of x. Let's write down 1, 2, and 3 again. For 1, h of x is f of x plus g of x. For 2, substituting minus x into h of negative x is f of negative x plus g of negative x. We can utilize the properties of f of x and g of x to write this as f of x plus g of x. For 3, negative h of x is minus f of x plus g of x, which expands to negative f of x minus g of x. Now, let's compare 1, 2, and 3. As you can see, 1 and 2 are the same in form. Therefore, the sum of two even functions, h of x, is an even function. This time, let's prove whether the difference of two odd functions becomes an odd function. To prove this, we need two odd functions, and using the properties of the odd functions, we can define two odd functions as follows. f of negative x is minus f of x, and g of negative x is minus g of x. Now, let's define the difference of two functions as h of x is f of x minus g of x. And it will check whether h of x satisfies the properties of the odd function through steps 1, 2, and 3. For 1, h of x is f of x minus g of x. For 2, evaluating h of minus x, we have h of minus x is f of negative x minus g of negative x, which using the properties of the odd functions becomes minus f of x minus parenthesis minus g of x. And simplifying this gives minus f of x plus g of x. For 3, negative h of x is minus f of x minus g of x, which, when simplified, also becomes a minus f of x plus g of x. 
Now let's compare steps 1, 2, and 3. As we can observe, step 2 and step 3 are the same. Therefore, the difference of two odd functions h of x becomes an odd function. Knowing whether a given function is even and odd can greatly assist in visualizing its graph. An even function creates a symmetric image with respect to the y-axis, while an odd function results in an origin symmetric graph. Through today's video, we've explored how to identify even and odd functions together. If you enjoyed today's video, please consider subscribing and liking. Thanks for watching, and this has been your math guardian, Alex.